Hey, happy birthday, Virgo. Happy birthday. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Virgo. Happy birthday to you. This is Lisa with Heart of Inspiration here to help you lead a spirit-led, whole and healed, peaceful and prosperous life. So, Virgo, we're going to pull some, um, we're gonna, this is your monthly reading, okay, for September of 2019. So, this is for sun, moon, and rising, all right? So, if this does not um, resonate with you as your sun sign, please do also check out your moon and your rising. I'm going to do things a little bit different today. We're going to be pulling cards. You see, I've got like decks everywhere. Um, so we're going to be pulling three Oracle cards first from the energy Oracle card deck first, and then, um, we'll pull the standard. We'll pull some tarot. Okay. Um, recent past for you. So we're going to do this past, present and outcome or future. Okay. So we're just going to lay these here let me go on and just move everything out of the way oh my gosh right this is crazy hey guys if this is your first time here welcome thank you very much for coming and um i appreciate you um if you see something you like and it resonates with you um please hit the subscribe button and the like button and share it okay share this video um and if you're returning a subscriber, welcome. Stay to the very end because I'm going to have a kind of special announcement giveaway here for my subscribers for September. Okay. We start off with the healer of the ages in the recent past. So this being for September, I'm going to read that as that energy is what we've been going through for all of August. And um, it's kind of framing how September is going to look. Um, excuse me, action was second. I am so sorry. Action was second and then um, adjacent possibilities. So let's see what we've got for Healer of the Ages first. So Healer of the Ages, that energy is health and vitality, which is appropriate for you, right? Um, this this powerful being brings the force of ancient wisdom and profound healing. The light of divine consciousness pours from his hands and heart, flowing to you with love and a powerful healing intention. This amazing entity is with you now, bringing resolution to physical, mental, and emotional ills, helping to unblock stuck energy and revitalize your life force. You may have felt this strong presence recently, or you may just be opening to the wonderful sensations now you can call upon this emissary of miraculous transformation whenever you need vitality balance or renewal know that the deepest level at the deepest level an important healing is taking place action is next so basically what's been coming towards you right is this like you've been feeling like coming into september um after a very long summer you've been being been feeling or beginning to feel invigorated right like hey all these things i've been working on like it's time to take what action right like i have the energy i have the ability i can do this this card on action tells you now is the time to be for more aggressive forward movement um the, the galloping horses represent intentional and concerted action directed towards your goals okay and that you're on the right track but your um, but your efforts have to increase and then adjacent possibilities so even without reading that one i can say just from what's happening here is that you're something you've been focused on right like immediately right like that's right in front of your goal by you taking action finally moving towards it now we're going to see it branch off okay um, sometimes the force of habit keeps you stuck and unaware of potentially healthier and happier choices at hand. Yet every moment gives you the option to open a different door and take a different course, whether it's in your thoughts, behaviors, or major life decisions. So I'm also going to, again, look at this, like 
you've had you this universal life energy right has really come into play for you like you really are very happy with um or should i say very energized with life force creative force manifestation energy and because of that virgo and now you realize in september which is perfect for some of the lunations that we're having and lunar cycles that we're having in your sign this is an absolutely perfect time to take action and begin to reap some of the harvest like a seven of pentacles type harvest right where you beginning you're beginning to see like oh this is working yes this is right great because of that right so it's gonna get uh and motivate you to take more action motivate you to keep moving but don't forget that just because this one thing is working i can see you branching off into many different variations or there being other possible um very lucrative variations for you to grab a hold to so we're going to actually move these up here and remember those okay um and i think what we're going to do is we'll use the star child tarot deck um again king of the ages healer of the ages we have the king of crystals which is the king of pentacles in the star child tarot deck interestingly enough overall energy for you is the emperor it's time for you to own you are who you are lord over it do what you know you need to do for yourself right page of cups um perhaps there's someone that you are interested in um, but also this is new beginnings of, again, love of self, self-satisfaction, or if there is someone that you're interested in or someone may be coming to you and delivering messages of love support, you know, all that kind of, kind of stuff. Also cups energy, a new flow of, of life force, a new flow of life energy, a new flow of spirit, right? That is like a renewal that gives you this brand like, woohoo, I've got all the energy in the world. And I know that I can manifest anything I want. And it's it's that kind of feeling, that kind of energy. And Akashic Records, your all your past lifetimes, all the past, your ancestors, everything that has ever been spoken over you, everything you've ever done is coming together. You need to tap into your Akashic Records. This has been coming up for so many of us collectively and even in um you know individual readings that i've been doing like it's time to really connect to your ancestors um don't be afraid of it don't be afraid of them your ancestors are nothing to be afraid of okay so don't be afraid let's use the thalamadak to um whoa hey also with the ten of wands that wanted to come out in reverse i'm reading only upright so when they fly out either sideways or reverse listen unburden yourself from everybody else's crap unburden yourself from everybody else's garbage why is this king of crystals here oh my gosh and the four of pentacles so listen the Four of Crystals is right here as energy you're bringing. The King of Pentacles is clarified by the Four of Crystals. So we're going to put the Four of Pentacles. We're going to put this here. The, the King of Crystals tells me, right, abundance is coming. You're about your bag. You're about your bag. Knight of Pentacles coming out sideways. We're going to read that as reversal. And it's time for you to move. Like you're no longer going to be super careful about it. However... You're also careful as far as actually moving forward. Like you're ready to move. But what this Four of Pentacles and the Four of Crystals tells me is that, listen, honey, don't tell everybody what you're doing, right? Keep a lot of it close to the vest. Don't tell everyone what you're doing. Not cool. At all. Okay? So don't feel like you absolutely have to say, oh my gosh, right? Like, um, I need to let this person know that this is what I'm thinking, I'm feeling, I'm doing whatever. No, don't let tell everybody this is my great idea, right? You're going to keep it close to the vest. Also, be sure you're not overspending, over investing in um the startup if it's a business or whatever it is in the startup of this project 
be careful you don't do that six of swords um energy could be an obstacle for you not being willing to walk away from things not being willing to learn the lesson that you've learned not being willing to take leave the, that you should have learned not being willing to leave the past leave past emotions leave past thoughts leave past whatever behind and walk into something new okay because you realize with the three of swords because there's been so much disappointment there and I'm going to read that seven of swords as um, reversal energy. Like you don't have the courage to do it. Like that's a real issue for you. You got to let it go. This nine of swords, interestingly enough, I'm going to also read that as reversal energy. What I'm getting from that nine of swords. Yeah. Willing to be release the anxiety. Let the anxiety go. The anxiety is not yours to hold on to. The anxiety isn't meant for you to keep at the forefront. It served you to be anxious a little bit and a little concerned about who you were dealing with. It served you before, but Virgo, it's not serving you anymore. It's not serving you anymore. And um, the the timidness, the, the trepidation, it's got to go. In order for you to move into your the fullness of who you're supposed to be, you've got to ascend. Let it go and rise up. Don't hold on to past. You have this very powerful healer of the ages energy that's coming in. And you're a natural healer in and of itself in and of yourselves that's who you are um health vitality all of that body everything like that right and um because of that right because of that it's really incumbent upon you to uh flow in a in in, in an energy that allows you to, to disregard and get rid of disappointments um, get rid of hurts, pains to affect and stress and anxiety to affect natural healing. Virgos, um, I've been, you know, a good, very good friend of mine, Shonda Rise. Please go to her Shonda Rise esoteric channel and subscribe. A good friend of mine explained to me that like Virgo, um, uh, astrologically is, um, like the digestive system, right? Um, of the astrological houses and that Virgos, if they have issues in their body, typically a lot of it, a lot of them have it in their digestive tract. I find that interesting because there's like two, three Virgos of my family that all have issues like that. Anyway, but if you think about what your digestive tract does, right? It takes in food, it breaks it down, it removes from that food the nutrients that your body needs and expels waste. If you hold on to anxiety, you're holding on to waste. You're full of ish, right? You're holding on to the waste. If you don't do the six of swords and take from it everything, extract what you're supposed to learn and then expel the rest, like leave it behind because we don't need that anymore. We don't need it. It was painful, whatever. We learned less and let's go. Uh, now I know that if I run into this person or now I know that if someone phrases um, a, 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 puts a phrase like this in a contract, that that means I'm not going to get paid what I'm supposed to get paid, right? I've learned my lesson. Lesson learned, keep it moving. Okay. Um, so release and let go of and allow that page of cup self-love um, to really come into play and be like, hey, you know what? I love myself. I can do this. We're okay. And there's our seven of pentacles. Focus in on the the beginnings of the harvest that you've been receiving as a result of moving forward, or you will receive in September, as a result of moving forward with your desire, right? With your plan, with whatever it is, right? See the harvest from it first. 
and allow that will allow yourself to release anxiety about whether or not it can work because sometimes earth sign you've got to see in order to believe it the outcome or advice is lovers so let's see what that's all about definitely gemini energy and labor energy of justice and seven of swords energy some some a little bit more anxiety so this is the thing um, it's interesting that there's so much air right there. This tells me that the battle is going to be in your thoughts. So you could either decide to be balanced in your thought process with the justice card, like fight for it, um, believe in it, believe in yourself, believe in your ideas. Um, or you could allow your own lower self, lower consciousness to steal it from you with the seven of swords. If you decide to be this Gemini ish lovers energy where it's i've got the idea i'm in love with it i already know that i've got all of this stuff planned and on the side it's totally fine and you know you already know that right you like i've got it let me just act let me act gemini's act also gemini's also have so much self-esteem by and large right they believe in themselves they believe in their ideas they believe in everything right they believe they believe so it's time for you to reconcile the yin and the yang both sides the duality the shadow or the dark or whatever the oppositional energy is there to balance out the light to make sure you don't run too fast but don't let that overpower the light either that puts you into motion so you have a choice in all of this. Your choice is this. You can either decide you're going to get out every little bit that you've put in, or you can decide, oh, it's not going to work and I'm, you're going to steal your own joy from yourself again. And if you decide the former, fall in love with yourself all over again. Fall in love with your idea. I believe in you. The universe believes in you. God believes in you. Um, your spirit guides believe in you. Your ancestors are rooting for you because they've been pulling for you this whole time. Hello. Do it. Okay? Release it. Release it. And just do it. And I want to hear about your successes, right? All right, guys. I'm going to um, close this out. Um, September, I want you guys to continue to look and come back. If this is before September 1st that you're watching, um, I'm going to do a very, some very special giveaways in September. It's harvest time. We are um, looking to grow to 5,000 subscribers. Just keep it said that's my next goal. We're putting out there is 5,000 subscribers. So um, that being said, we're going to have some subscriber giveaways. We're going to be doing something a little bit different. Um, and uh, be on the lookout for that because we're going to have some very special subscriber only events um, and we'll be giving away some Amazon gift cards and um, the Oracle decks this time around. Okay. All right. I'm going to let you guys go now. Thank you so much for being here again. Please consider liking, subscribing, and please do share. Peace, love, blessings, and joy be unto you today, tomorrow, and for all eternity. I love you so much. Namaste. Bye-bye.